watching me. Yeah, but you're not watching. Hey guys, okay, we're trying this a third time. A third time. Um, let me know if you are back. Those of you who are back, I thank you, thank you, thank you for your grace. I thank you, thank you, thank you for your grace. It's still lagging. Hold on. They said this is better. Can you still hear me now? Huh? All right, guys, can you hear me now? I was speaking to my studio manager. That's why I, I put you guys on mute. Um, so I'm back. Let me know if you can hear me now. Can you hear me now? Remember, that was an old, old, what was it, Verizon? Years and years and years ago. Yes, perfect. So I just aged myself again, right? For no reason, since you can hear me. But hello, guys. I am so glad that you are back. Woohoo! Yes, I can hear you. I can see you. I love it. Again, I am seeing names that I'm so familiar with. I thank you guys for being with me here this evening. As you can see, I'm wearing my red and I have my love and my heart in celebration or anticipation of Valentine's Day. Of course, this time, Valentine's Day, this year, I should say, falls on a weekday, womp womp, Tuesday. So I guess people are out this weekend, this evening, and um, I guess people will be out next weekend. Um, but as you can imagine, there are going to be many proposals this weekend, many proposals next weekend. It is just a season of love. It is a day where I get to wear my favorite color for, I wouldn't say no reason, but just another day, I should say. Another excuse to wear my favorite color, which is red, because red says, I am here and I am full of confidence. <laughs> so let me know in the chat, of course, what is your favorite color? And let's see if I can get some additional votes for the color red. Red is a power color. Um, there was a, a running joke a few years ago with a friend of mine that said, you know, when, when you are angry or on the war path, that's when you choose to wear the color red. And I was like, eh, there might be something to it, but not necessarily because red is just simply my favorite color. So let me know what is your favorite color. JLR Red, I got you. I see you. So we have some blues in here, red and pink. And of course, pink is a variation of red, so I'll accept that, right? Any other favorite colors in here that you guys would like to share? Black and gold. Hey, Unlimited Me, nice to see you. Another familiar name, orange and turquoise. I was having a conversation just this week, Annette, with someone who is trying to sell me on the combination of orange and turquoise. And um, <laughs> that person might more than likely be in the chat. Um, I love green, but red is very close to my heart. Um, red, but purple is my favorite. That's a, 
a favorite color of my 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 mini me um <laughs> bling one-way designs is not a color although it is in a category all by itself right <laughs> but thank you guys for joining me this evening periwinkle that's a nice color you don't hear too many people talk about periwinkle but it is a nice color a very soft color soothing color so thank you guys for sharing so how has your guys um week been what did you guys do this week has been a harrowing week for me at work um i shared with you guys of course you know a little bit about what i do instructional coach you know working with teachers working with students but at school this week we just had many activities many things going on and so um you know the song dolly parton nine to five yeah they worked every penny out of me this week. And then, <laughs> Bubble says, bling is her favorite color too. You guys are hilarious. Um, and then I had Saturday school this morning. And then I hung out with a girlfriend this afternoon. And then came home and got ready for you guys. So this has been a full day for me. It has been a full week. But of course, I would be nowhere else rather than with you guys in the chat. So today we are going to make two fun little crafts. Um, again, of course, with Valentine's Day right around the corner, I know that you guys have been inundated with crafts from various crafters all throughout the week. And so I am just going to, I am just going to put my little flair into the mix with a simple, simple craft that you can make that you would be able to share, of course, with your loved ones, um, whether it be your children, a best friend, your honey, your spouse, um, someone who, you know, you might be interested in. And I made these, I went to the dollar store today to look for um, something. I am making some little gift bags for a few of my coworkers at work. And I don't wanna to say too much here, but I'll tell you guys about it next week just because they may be online and I don't want them or anyone who works in my building to hear what I'm doing to go spill the beans to somebody else. So I went to the dollar store today um, to get some items for that project and I'll share with you guys next week. And I was happy to find in the crafting section um, some DIY wood dies, right? So. A, they look like this. They come in a package of three. Um, and of course, they're just plain wood. So of course, whatever you decide to do with them, you would have to prepare them so that, you know, you can work or do whatever. But I had the idea because they sell these things, right? And of course, what am I saying? They sell them ready-made, right? But I'm thinking, how about we making some of our own? And so in the essence of time, in preparing to meet with you guys, I went ahead and I painted my um, dyes black and red, red in essence, or in celebration of Valentine's Day. And I left this little square on it, or this little circle underneath here. Lord, if any of my students are online, they're gonna be like, Dr. Walker, um, that's red. That's a, that's a circle, it's not a square. So that we can, you know, chum it up while I paint this in. But what we're going to do with this dice is make a Valentine's Day game. Of course, we know that whatever we put on this dice, since this is a family channel, is going to have to be um, on par with our audience. But whenever you guys recreate these on your own, of course, the sky is the limit for the combinations that you would be able to create on your dice all right so for my dice like i said in uh remembrance of valentine's day not remembrance but in celebration of valentine's day i chose to paint mine red and black right the edges of mine are black of course and the circles are red and so I left one of my circles just free so that we could paint together and chat a little bit in our live 
And then when I'm finished painting this and one of them, uh, this one has a chance to dry, what we're going to do is come up with some combinations of things. So say for example, if you're playing the game and you roll the dice, right? You can say, one dice can say, cook you dinner. And the other one could say perhaps five days a week, right? Or one face can say, rub your feet. And the other one can say, before you go to bed, okay? So different things. We can come up with different uh, combinations. So start thinking about what we're gonna write on our dice. And this is gonna be a fun way that you can share with your loved one, or you can play even with your kids. You know, I'll drop you to work, or I'll loan you the car if you get, you know, an A, an a on your final exam, or I'll buy you a ticket to your favorite concert if you clean the room without me telling you. So just a little, a little game that you can play, kind of like a, a, a reward session, that you can have with your loved ones, whether it be kid, you know, parent, honey, like I said, the options and the sky is the limit. There you go, Bubbles. That's where I'm going with it, but I'm, I'm trying not to say it. <laughs> so yes, right? So you can, of course, make this game to be whatever you want it, for whomever you want it, all right? So while I'm painting, let's try to think of some combinations of, um, what I wanna say, activities and times that we can write on our dice. And of course, I thought about, I got a fine tip black pen that would work, should work. Of course, I didn't practice, which I probably should have, or try to see if it would have worked but um, I thought of, you could use a pen to write it on or a marker. I should have gotten, oh yes, I do have my, my pen case. So you can use a, a marker to write it on or if you had, which I didn't look, but we know that the dollar store has an extensive selection of stickers. You could probably find some heart stickers or maybe even those round stickers that they use for like, um, garage day sales that you can put, you can stick down with some um, hot glue or some crazy glue, and then you have a better writing surface on your die. So let me see, what combinations have we come up with? Nothing? What can we think of? Like for kids, if you are rolling the dice with your children, what could you come up with? And with the black that I used, I only gave it one coat of paint, but the red, however, I think I did three coats on each one of the sides. Three quick coats. Like I said, I came home, I spent the day out after working um, with a girlfriend, and then I came home to get ready for you guys. And so I pre-made a lot of this stuff just so that I can honor your time. So that's one coat. Hey, Bubbles is on it. If you guys smash the like button, <laughs> you get free chocolate chip cookies when I meet you in person. So go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you, Bubbles. What are the names of each of the color you're using? So good question. So now you guys know, and I put it away that I got, I, I don't buy anything. I promise you when I say nothing on full price. Everything that I purchase, my clothes, my food, my experiences, my travels, I purchase either on sale or with some kind of percentage off, especially my crafts. And I remember years ago doing a um, DIY 101 video and telling you guys how to shop. So now that we see Valentine's Day is upon us, and guys, I haven't looked because I promise if I bring one more thing in this house, <laughs> those kids are gonna put me out of my own house, right? Because I have stashes of things everywhere. 
But now that Valentine's Day is upon us, I'm quite sure if you go in a store today, well, what time is it? Stores are closing now. But if you were to go in your hobby stores tomorrow, that stuff is probably already on 70, 80% off. Come Wednesday, when Valentine's Day is past, those things are going to be 90% off. So this is how I shop for my flowers, for my clothes. Everything is out of season. If I'm looking for something that is in season, I wait until that company has definitely a 30, 40, 50% upwards percentage off, you know, uh, with a sale or a code. And that's how I purchase my things. So this uh, paint, I said all of that to say, I know I'm long winded, sorry. I got last year, I want to say, or maybe the year before when I went to visit my honey in Florida, he was working. And so I went to see what I could see. And I happened, not that I went there purposefully, but I happened into Michael's and they had this paint. It was a pack of, I want to say seven. So you had your red, maroon, I think there was a green, a silver, a gold. It was a band of Christmas colors. And they had seven of these full, two fluid ounces, seven of these, two fluid ounces in a pack for $4.99 with 60% off. Thank you. I picked it up. I put it in my, um, I picked it up. I put it in my, um, cart, purchased it, brought it home, put it in my stash and I'm using it today for the first time. So the color of this is, it doesn't say, yes, it does. It is just red rouge. What I'll do is I'll see if I can find the product and it might not be because I got this um, not last year Christmas, but the year before Christmas. But I'll look to see because it was Michael's brand. I'll look to see if it's on the website and I'll put the link into um, down below. And this one is Anita's and I think I got this from this may have been Hobby Lobby. And this one, no, if y'all gonna make me put on my glasses tonight, I'm trying to do the Valentine's Day thing. And now I have to put on my glasses. And lo and behold, let me not try to look over the glasses because somebody in the chat is gonna tell me about myself. Oh, look, how simple. This one is simply black. <laughs> I didn't need to put on my glasses for that. So this one is black. And Nita's is the brand. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. And this one is red simply red from craft smart and i got this one at michael's so i'm going to see if i can find the links for both of these and put it in the window below if that answers your question i know it was a long answer but forgive me i like to talk so let's see what we have here <laughs> i got you bubbles when i meet you i got you you know who has some I probably shouldn't say it because I'm giving them free advertising. But you know who has some good chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chunk cookies? They don't open on Sundays. Let's just put it like that. If you know it, you can put it in the chat, but I'm not going to broadcast and give them free advertising. But they don't, as a whole franchise, open on Sundays. And that's when you wake up on Sunday morning with a hankering for one of their biscuits. Put it in the chat if you know who I'm talking about. So yes, um, 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 um. <laughs> feel back stronger. See you soon. Yep, I have your cookies for you. All right, so I'm still waiting for ideas for our dyes. So I'm gonna go in with a second coat. There you go. Congratulations, Bubbles. I am so happy you were able to find another job. I wish you all success. And I pray that your talent will make room for you and that you will grow in your position there. Amen, amen. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with a second coat here, right? And we're gonna set this to dry for a moment. So, oh no, 
no more of that to happen. But of course it did. Okay, so wine in the bathtub. Wine in the bathtub. So we can say, what, one day a week? Or, or I can draw you a bath, right? One evening. So I need my, yep. So nobody knows a restaurant I'm talking about that has the, one of the best, one of the best um, chocolate chip cookies that don't open on Sundays. Put it in the chat, somebody. We all know what I'm talking about. We all know who I'm talking about. So draw you a bath. Oh, I gotta put on my glasses. When did this happen? When did it happen? Draw you a bath. Okay, so we have draw you a bath. Not my very best handwriting, but it is memorialized. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yes, them. If you've never had one of their cookies, I beg you, you need to try it. It is very good. And especially when, ooh, I like that. And especially when you order it with, you know, something that's hot, like your fries or your sandwich, and they put it in the same bag, and the chips get that, ooey gooey melted mm -hmm. yes so candlelight dinner i have that one all right anything else anything else make sure you guys are pressing the like button yes build back stronger no matter what i love that no matter the life event that is so true you all that is so true come on guys what is your creativity well i'm waiting on you guys to think about things that we can do so what did you say yes oh i have a good one uh, let's say feed you grapes. Aha. Now, if they don't like grapes, that's a problem, right? They might probably need to roll over. You sent one for the kids. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Ooh, I like that one. Um... Evelyn, let me scroll up and see if I can find it. What category is that color in? Na, 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 na. Evelyn, Evelyn. Oh, okay. I like that. So we're going to say, take you to the movies. Thank you for uh, telling me, Evelyn, I missed it while I was looking down. And that's, that's one that could fit anybody, right? Um, take you on a vacation. So let's say, meet me at the airport. Uh -huh. And we have uh, one more on this one. One more. Okay, full body massage. Full body massage all right so we have all of our activities we said draw you a bath candlelight dinner feed you some grace take you to the movies um meet me at the airport and full body massage why did nobody drop give you my credit card <laughs> that would be nice take you on a shopping spree how about that cook your favorite food i like that okay so now that we have all of our activities Maybe on this, we can put the number of times, right? Or we can put when it is going to happen. So what do we want to write on these? Do we want to say when on this one? 
Do we want to say when or do we want to say how many times? Let me see. Yes, that's, that's the restaurant. And like I said, you only get a hankering for them when you wake up Sunday morning. It's like, oh, let me get my clothes on so I can go to, oh, wait, it's Sunday. They closed today. <laughs> right? So, I know. I would love a shopping spree too. Oh, so, here's a funny. Well, let me just say this. And we run out of space. <laughs> we run out of space on our, on our dice. But, so how are we going to say, I would love this. Okay, so how many times, right? How many times? Saturday date night. Yeah, I love all of those. So we can say here Saturday. Maybe I should have waited. That's the one that just dried. So Saturday. Um, we can say how many times? We can say twice. We can draw you a bath. We can say next month. Imagine if you rolled next month on, what did we say? Pack your bags. What did we say? Meet me at the airport next month. <laughs> you guys would definitely have to be ready for this one. Meet me at the airport next month. Where are we going? I don't know. Just meet me at the airport, right? Um, do we want to say... Take me to the movies twice. You guys are getting quiet. How many of you guys are gonna watch it? I got twice, twice. Great. How many of you guys are gonna watch a game tomorrow? Listen, so I was talking to a friend um, yesterday, Thursday, and she was telling me how, we're talking about the difference between I know some of you guys may roll your eyes at me, but I'm just going to say. We're talking about the difference between Walmart and a Target. And how, to me, those differences are indistinguishable. Except that Walmart is blue and Target is red. And then we talked about how some people, like my daughter, and some other people that I know, tend to go into Target and become mesmerized with the things that are in there. And I'm standing in Target either with them, well, not either, because I don't ever go in there by myself. I'm standing in Target with them and I'm like, can we go, what are we in here for? I don't, I don't get it, right? So this person was telling me how she went into Target to get one thing and ended up coming out with five. <laughs> okay, and I'm like, why? <laughs> So let me know. So we're talking about, we're having cross conversations. Let me know which of you are target shoppers and let me know what the, what do I want to say? What is so mesmerizing about going in target for you? And then those of you, right? Me neither, Evelyn. I, I don't get it. And those of you who are um, watching the game tomorrow or um, enjoying the game tomorrow with family and friends. Tell me, how are you doing it? Are you watching the game by yourself? I was talking to another coworker today and he told me that I asked him, I said, are you going to have a party? Are you going to anybody's house? What are you doing? He's like, no, I'm watching the game in my house. I said, but, but why aren't you going to hang out? He's like, because when you go hang out, people come for the party and not the game. And I don't want anybody talking to me while I'm watching the game. So I was like, well, I guess I have to respect that. So let me know. Let me know. Are you watching the game tomorrow and how? And those of you who are target shoppers, let me know what seems to be the magical glory about that store. That's what I want to say. And then once you guys have put that in there, we will finish our dice and then we'll roll to see what we come up with. Just gonna roll, put one out of the blue here. I think we have one more. I'm trying to see what is here. 
I like Walmart better, so much better than Target. Target is so overpriced. Target is for rich people. Maybe that's what it is. Cause I'm like, I don't know, where's the sale? Point me to the sale items. Like I quicker shop at Kohl's because Kohl's have some really good sales and I keep giving these people free airtime. But anyway, since we're talking about shopping, Kohl's really has some really good sales. I don't shop with Kohl's unless I can get a 30% off while they're having a, a clearance sale. So when I go to Kohl's, I shop on their clearance rack and you'll never know because they sell nice things. And of course, when do I go out of season? So now that we're coming off of winter season, when spring starts, they start putting that winter stuff on sale. That's when I get me my nice wool coats, you know, my parkers, my scarves. And it's almost like they're paying you to take the stuff off their hands. Ooh, rooting for the Eagles. I know, I know, I get it, I get it, I get it. You don't like sports? So you're not a sports person, Evelyn? No, no, no. Okay, so now that we have created our dice, just simple, something simple and fun, we are going to roll our dice. Let me see. So we have our two. One side is empty. I can't think of anything to put there. So we're gonna roll our dice to see. Watching the game by myself, but still celebrate buying pizza for my family. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so here is the roll of our dice. And of course, the one that I didn't write anything on the side came up. All right, so this one says, ooh. This one says, this combination says, next month, I will feed you grapes, okay? Let's hope that he or she likes grapes, I don't know. And next month came up again. I don't know if my dice is weighted, but it says, next month, I will give you a full body massage, right? So we see how this game is played. And like I said, just a little something to help you celebrate your Valentine's evening. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I would like to roll this. It says, meet me at the airport twice. So that means um, one way designs that you are going to have to be able to provide two vacations. If you so happen, your loved one so happen to roll this combination. Okay, so just a little peek into some fun that you can have to show your love and appreciation for your loved ones. Of course, we know that we don't love our loved ones only one day out of the year. We love them every day of the year. We show them how we love them because we know, of course, love is an action word. It's not so much about saying I love you as it is showing I love you through that those acts of service, physical touch, quality time, you know, affirming words or gifts. So enjoy your Valentine's Day with your loved ones. Now, there is another craft I wanted to quickly show you. And this one is, was, I should say, simply to meet my needs. Somebody in my house had a cold the other day and it made me to think about well because of that person's need i'm trying to see if i can get a rise out of her um i came up with the idea and of course this has been done already but i have never made one for myself so i'm thinking that we are going to make one online together I love Walmart, but I go in with a $50 budget and end up spending over $100. I know. I know how that can be. <laughs> Evelyn, that's not nice. <laughs> so, guys, did we see what Evelyn said? She said, just because I meet you at the airport, it doesn't mean that we're going anywhere. Girl, I would be so hot mad with you. I'm telling you, I would be so hot mad at you. Maybe you could take them to a nice restaurant. I mean, all jokes aside, airports have some nice food. You could just have flowers or a gift of some sort. I agree with you, but you're messy. That's what I have to say. Let me roll that on my dice with my loved one. And he says, I was just joking. Yeah, we're gonna have a fight. <laughs> Y'all are not nice. Oh my goodness. 
So yes, so my daughter had a cold last week and decided that she wanted to move one of my box of tissues um, on upstairs, right, with her. And I was like, all you have to do is go, go where we keep our stationery, right, our toiletries, and get you a box. No, mommy, I want that one. Can you just bring it for me? All right, child. So I gave it to her, and then I decided, as I was in my living room, trying to decide how to perk it up, that I would make for myself a tissue box out of mirrors. Now, we know, where am I? <laughs> no, Annette, please do not encourage her. No, she's not right. Do not encourage the craziness. <laughs> so I decided that um, I wanted to make a mirrored tissue box. Now, of course, you know, for those of you who are longtime dollar, dollar Tree shoppers like myself, we know what we could have gone to the dollar store and get these beautiful beveled edge mirrors, right? I don't want to um, shine the light in your face. Or reflect the light in your face but they don't sell these anymore so they do still sell the five inch but it is just a plain um just a plain mirror no beveled edge right hold on i don't know why something is wet on my table um so i still manage because i have lots and lots and lots of stuff don't judge me to still have some of the bevel mirrors um, in my personal stash. And I still also went out and I got some of the, um, just a plain five inch that they're selling now. And so if you can see, I put down my pattern because we're going to make a cube, right? But if you can see, Y'all bad. Wait, let me see this. I got to read this because y'all have a whole conversation going about this meet me at the airport. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Yes, he does, Annette. Yes, he does. Fantastic idea with the Japanese is so beautiful in a way. Thank you. Looks like a princess. I never say please because it's busy. That's so true. Yo, that is so true. Listen, here's another conversation we need to have. Why is that so, though? Go ahead and read um, Bubbles, again, because like we just shouting out a whole bunch of people tonight and giving them free advertisement. But read Bubbles Butterfly last comment that she just wrote about princesses versus queens. That is true. I never thought about it until you said it. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's absolutely right. So, Annette, you still have some of those mirrors, girl. You know, we stash things. I really wish they'd bring them back. I guess they don't have them because I guess they probably can't purchase them for what they purchased them before to be able to sell them to us for a dollar and 25 cents because I could imagine um, that the beveling, um, you know, adds a certain value to it. So we just get the plain ones now. But, yes, we can still dream. Oh, yes. But they still won't be a dollar, you know. But yes, I get a lot of mirrors from um, Hobby Lobby and Michael sometimes to um, have them on sale. But as you can see, I have my pattern down for my, um, for my box, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then I have a sixth one to see how I can somehow... I haven't figured that out yet because you know we're making a cube, right? And so if my top is the same five inches, I don't know if it's gonna sit on top. It might just fall in, but I'm gonna figure it out because yes, even though we put our tissue box inside, which, you know, it will still look nice. I'm thinking that when the tissues are not in use, then maybe the tissue box will just, the cover will just sit on the tissue box itself. We'll figure it out. But I still would, be able to want to cover my box, right? So as you can see, I went ahead and I lined the backs of the mirrors with some black 
felt, right? So that when we make our box and we look in, we're not just seeing the ugly backs of the mirror, we are covering up so it looks like a beautiful black felt box inside. And so to do that, what I did was I took some felt and I cut some pieces of felt into some four inch, four inch square squares, all right? Because, and you'll see why, when we join these together, I'm going to be using my hot glue. So when we join these together, I need there to be, and I don't have any E6000, I need to purchase some more. So which is why I'm only working with my hot glue tonight. But when we lay our glue down, we actually want it to be resting, right? On the mirror itself and not on the felt. So if you make your squares four by four, then you have part of the naked mirror exposed that you can put your adhesive down, okay? So to put my adhesive down, I'm simply going to use some uh, liquid glue, liquid glue pen. I can't remember where I got this from, but it is a very good um, adhesive. And it helps you to put the glue down where you want it, right? Without spillage, without waste, without guessing. It has a little sponge top. And like I said, I don't remember where I got it from, but it wasn't too expensive, I think. It was 99 cents for um, the pen. As a matter of fact, I think I got that when I went on my first ever craft call. Remember at one time we we're talking about doing craft, craft crawls and I was thinking about coming to cities where you guys are and you guys meeting me up and we going shopping, right? For sales. I did one with a friend, never quite got that off the ground, but maybe that might be something that we can go back to when the time is right. So now that I've prepared this, right, I'm gonna set it aside so it can dry. And now we're gonna try to create our box. Now, I have seen these made around other pieces of things uh, like cardboard, like styrofoam, I think I myself have made, well, want to hold flowers around styrofoam, uh, but I've never just made a box itself, right? We're going to see tonight if my idea worked. And to do this, I'm going to use some electrical tape. You guys aren't saying anything. Where are my peoples? You guys are being so quiet. Quiet. And I see the error that I've made. Let me see who can tell me what I did wrong. If you're watching, if you can see, yes, you can see. Here, it's better. So nobody read um, Bubbles. Last comment. Was that an aha for anyone else or was it only me that just totally missed that memo? I never realized it. But the minute I read what she said, it was like, oh my gosh, that is so true. Every single one. Every single one. Mmm, that's a good question. Are they leaving in good spirits? Is the leaving their choice? Talk to us about your group, Annette. <laughs> Shh, don't put all my business out in the street. Please don't put all my business out in the street. But we're gonna see if we're gonna can get this to work. Yes. And I did a lot of shopping that day. Perhaps a little bit too much shopping that day. But, 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 since you're talking about business, but I can tell you that all of the shopping that was done that day, okay, I don't think this is gonna work. See, now that I'm, I'm talking about it. All of the shopping that was done that day 
was done on sale. Right? I can tell you that. So I want to see how. Yes, and I, I never realized that. Isn't that something? Every single one. Every single one. That's scary, creepy. So it kind of gives you a, um, I'm going to have to do some research on that because now, sorry, I'm not looking at you guys. I'm working. Um, because now that I think about it, I wonder if there is an agenda there, you know? I don't think this is going to work. I don't know if there's an agenda there, guys. Like, why would that be? For what purpose, you know? So that's interesting. It is standing up. Okay, yay. I know if I had some epoxy, that would have been great. But that stuff doesn't last. I've been away from you guys for almost, what, a year? I gotta go shop some more since y'all talking about me shopping. But you do know I'm gonna find some of that stuff <laughs> on clearance or on sale somewhere. Cause I'm not gonna pay full price. Let's see. Oh, congratulations to your baby girl. That is a milestone. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, let me think about that. Twist and distorts the real meaning. A true queen is honorable, yes. And its meaning denotes royalty and everything beautiful and positive. We are queens. I personally am not a fan of dot, dot, dot. I hear you, girl. Thank you, Bill Backstronger. You are amazing. Thank you for that nod and that vote of confidence from our sister. You guys go to the chat and see what Bill Backstronger just said. I am in total agreement with her. Total agreement with her. Yeah. Because why else? I never realized that. That is something else. Yeah, I gotta go do some research. Now my mind is peaked. When that happens, I hit the search box. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Guys, it looks like it's working. I'm gonna have to take some sort of bling. Um, <laughs> somebody's two people on here's favorite color I know what I need I'll do it I need some wax paper okay um I was gonna say something I just lost my train of thought Yay, thank you. Yeah. Guys, remember when I had, um, this is for my old folk, my blue um, gun, my blue blue gun. I used to call her Big Blue. And she used to burn me so bad. And then she died. And I've never, ever, for the life of me, found one that I've loved as much as I love that, that glue gun. Never. And I had her twin. And I don't know. You might think that it was just all in my mind. But I had her twin. And to me, her twin just was not the same. It wasn't the same. 
But she died. We had used her for years and years and years and years and years. Big blue. And then she died on me. She just started smoking one day. All right. So I made my form. Of course, I would say to you guys, we would use um, E6000 or something stronger, right? This is just hot glue. Of course, when I go shopping <laughs> to get my adhesives back, because I have some great ideas coming for you guys in videos. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to share. I cannot wait to share. I cannot wait to share. And as a matter of fact, I'm kind of kicking myself on one of those ideas for not bringing it, bringing it out sooner, but I've modified it. So it's going to be change a little um i'm going in and i'm sealing my edges so i have some wonderful ideas coming for you guys the videos yes you remember her right i used to love that glue gun oh my gosh she truly did what she was supposed to do and i've had others throughout the years I still have some that's in my stash unopened that it just, I've never met another um, gun like Big Blue. And she did, wasn't fancy. <laughs> she was either on or she was off. She didn't have warm, she didn't have hot, extra hot. Um, she didn't have, you know with these, oh this one doesn't have it, but you know they have the new Fandango ones now where you can take out um the, the thing so it can you know warm if you don't want it too hot or whatever no she had one speed and that was hot <laughs> you didn't remember that she was on or you managed to touch your hand against her or you got burned with the glue that came out of her listen y'all remember i used to have those little rubber um finger gloves right because she used to burn me all that and then she died Yay. All right. Look, look, I'm talking about <laughs> missing a glue gun while I'm working with another one. Let's hope that this one doesn't die on set because I'm talking bad about it. So we're just going to let that set up for a minute. Yay, I have my box. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, no, they don't. Yeah, they don't. That was a that was a nice one. All right. So while we wait on this to dry, let me. Oh, it does work. Oh, my math brain. But you know what that could mean? That could mean that I'm not square. But that's fine. It still works. Okay. So while we're doing that, which is the last thing that we're gonna do. In the essence of time, I know I started a little late. I'm going to let you guys go. About maybe 10 minutes. Okay. I am going to use one of these handles. And like I said, we've seen these before. This is nothing new. I've just never made one myself. Hold on. I've just never made one myself. So when somebody stole my tissue box from downstairs, put it in their room. And this is one thing Big Blue didn't do. She didn't leave all of these threads oh polka dots cool you know there was a time that i didn't like polka dots my daughter would tell you i didn't like them now i wear polka dots and when i wear them she's like mom you didn't used to like polka dots why are you wearing them now <laughs> like so sue me really um so yeah, polka dots are fun. So I'm just going to take, because eventually I'm going to take this off. And I'm probably going, this is going to be my, 
back this one. But I'm going to take this off when I get some epoxy. Probably this week. Because we're on a break, y'all. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Wednesday is our last day for the week. We are off Thursday and Friday and the following Monday. Yeah. So I'm going to be either on my way somewhere or I'm going to be crafting up a storm because I have many ideas that I want to share with you guys. Many, 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 many ideas that I've just been saving over the years, writing in my book that you see here, or drawing on, um, drawing on post-it notes. It's so funny. I have so many post-it notes in my bag. It's hilarious, y'all. Or I go in my wallet and I find, you know, I'm like, oh, I remember when I sketched this. Or sometimes I'm watching TV and I see, you know, a piece of uh, furniture or some sort of decor in the living room of the TV show. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can make a dupe of that. So I take a picture of it on my phone and then I sketch it out. I have stuff everywhere. So I'm trying now to streamline all of my sketches into my little book here. But yes, I have so many things to share with you guys as we get ready for somebody walking down the aisle. <laughs> yes, that was another thing. I wasn't a very uh, huge animal print wearer either. Um, bling out my glue gun. <laughs> I could, I might. I miss, I miss big blue though. So look guys, so yeah. So I've glued this now using my hot glue. So it sits, it nestles. It doesn't sit flush in there. And I can see where this one juts out a little bit, but I can fix it when I get my um, epoxy. I might just pull it apart since it's just um, hot glue. Pull it apart, clean it down with my heat gun. Remember I told you guys I had a heat gun? I knew I had a heat gun, but I couldn't find it. My brother had gifted me a heat gun. <laughs> I could not find it, but I found it. So just melting that glue again, taking it off, cleaning off my mirrors since they're such a precious commodity these days. And um, I'm just trying to see how I can put some of um, One Way Design's uh, favorite color on here. That would be pretty. What do you think? Can you guys see that? Just going all the way around. Right? That would be pretty. And then, of course, the test would be... Ta -da -da, it fits, but because this is a larger box, I won't be able to cover it. That kind of looks not nice. <laughs> so if I'm using this as a tissue box, of course... I would just set my tissue box in there, but if I was using this box to store other things, because we have put felt on the inside, right? So you can see it's lined on the inside, right? Then we can cover it and we can store some nice things in here, some jewelry, maybe your keys as you come in, put this on your table. That came out well. I didn't think the free form would have worked, but it did. Because I really wanted that empty space in here. So now I have that. All right. And of course, if we were to purchase this at a home store, how much they would have charged us for this? Oh, a lot of money, right? So here we have, and these mirrors, I want to say I got them before they started selling everything at $1.25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, so six dollars. And I got this in a pack of, I want to say 24. And I can't remember for how much, but look, for six dollars, maybe seven dollars, we created our own mirror box. Because when we're on this channel, what is our motto? Tell me, tell me in the chat. <laughs> no, we can't get enough. You're right. 
You know what I didn't used to like and now I'm wearing? And people can't understand it. My my children, my coworkers. Well, two things I'm wearing now. People like, who are you? And what have you done with Danielle? So the first thing is sneakers. I don't think I've, I've seen Sandra today. Sandra, if you're here, let me know in the chat. But coming from the islands, of course, you know, we have summer all year round, right? And so we wear open toe shoes, right? Whether it's a flip flops at the beach, or if you're going to church, you're going to, you know, an outing, you wear your strappy heels, or you wear, there you go, you wear your nice sandals, right? So I've never really worn, I think maybe for my confirmation years and years and years ago, and maybe for my first communion, right? Years and years and years ago, closed toe shoes. You know, even when we work, um, at, you know, school as a teacher, I always wore nice shoes, very tasteful shoes, but my toes were out, right? Heels, peep toe, whatever. <sighs> Moving here because there's seasons, I had to learn to put my toes away. And then of course I would push it to the last possible moment for winter, right? My best friend would say, girl, you got to put your toes away. It's time. And then spring, I will be the first ones out with my toes out because I'm like, I've had enough of this. Anyway, I've started wearing sneakers. And <laughs> when people see me in sneakers, you wear sneakers? Oh my gosh. I've never seen you in a pair of sneakers. Meanwhile, my toes are in the sneakers saying, let me out, let me out. It's just, you know, I hear people talk about being claustrophobic. My feet, if that's a thing, I don't know, but my feet are, my toes are claustrophobic. Literally. It just does something to my brain. I can't stand it. I got, I have to keep moving or I have to be talking or I have to be otherwise engaging my mind some other how because my feet are literally screaming take me out of these shoes so one i wear sneakers now and people can't understand why what have you done with danielle and two i've never liked camouflage right that camel print now i have several pieces of camel and when people see me in my camel pieces they're like what you're dressing down Danielle, that I know, doesn't dress down. Who are you and what have you done with my friend? So yes, that's my story. But yes, why buy when you can DIY? And so we just created something. Like I said, this is nothing new. We've seen this before time and time again, but we just created it, one, in a free form, and two, just using $6, right, before they raise their price up an additional quarter. <laughs> T-shirts, shorts, and flip-flops as much as possible. Girl, it's nice to be comfortable. I know. Um, yeah, I dress up. I tend to, you know, dress nicely wherever I go. So when I dress down, it's really like a big thing. Like, oh my gosh, she's in jeans. Are you okay? Why are you wearing jeans today? You know, because we may have jeans day at, at work and I dress or sports day, you know, wear your, um, what do they call them? Help me JLR. If you're still here, your Jersey, you know, wear your Jersey day at school, you know, and I'm in my slacks and my button up shirt <laughs> you know, with some nice heels. Eh, I like to dress. So yeah, before retirement, you never, <laughs> so yeah. So why buy when you can DIY my darling? So yes, yes, yes. I am glad to be back. Thank you, of course, for my crowd, for being here with me tonight. We were able to come up with two quick crafts. We gave our nod to Valentine's Day, which is Tuesday of this week. Like I said, some of you may be celebrating tonight. And if you are, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I love love, whether it's being in love myself or watching other people being in love. Make sure, however, that you do not only save your love for one day a year, but that you are loving on your loved ones every day that you are blessed to have them. And love is not stagnant. Love is not simply a word. Love is to be played out in action. And then, of course, just because I wanted to have a need met in my home, I created this uh, mirrored box that I'm going to use to keep my tissues in not this one i'm probably going to see if i can find a shorter box 
the same four by four. This is four by four. I measured it, but the box is actually five inches tall because I didn't measure it before. But because I have that mirror on the bottom, it's taking up some of that space. So the box is sitting up a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can find a shorter box to put in my tissue box. If not, I will place this on my dressing table and put some of my trinkets in there. So my darlings, I thank you for your time. Like I said, you guys could have been anywhere in the world tonight on any other channel on YouTube, but you chose to spend some time with me this evening and I thank you for it. I want to say to you guys that I'm going to see you guys not this week. I had honestly planned to have videos out for you guys this week, but like I said, work got the better of me, the best of me this week. And so we will resume our videos prayerfully. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then I'll see you guys live. So I'll see you guys live next week, Saturday, God willing. What is Evelyn up to again? Oh my gosh. All right, now, Bubbles. <laughs> I'm a waiter for thinking that guys look so cute when they wear cool jeans, a t-shirt, and a flannel over it, and flip-flops. I don't know why, but that makes my heart go pitter-patter. <laughs> girl but you know what they say you know they people do say and i've heard men right i have a lot of male friends and i heard i've heard men say and even my daughter has said this that you know when you dress down and people get to see the real you that's when you know you look attractive attractive because they look at you and you're like oh if she looks that way and i think i mentioned this last week because now this is sounding familiar if she looks that way and you know just some sweats and some shorts and her hair in a messy bun and some flip-flops with no lotion on her feet dang when she cleans up she's gonna be the bomb.com so yeah there's there's that so yeah guys so i thank you guys for spending some time with me this evening of course you know that i love you all mwah, mwah. Please, please, please be careful for me. Enjoy your time. Stay safe. Love on your loved ones. And until next time, my darlings, be well. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you guys for being here. You can hear my little doge and his, <laughs> his nails on the floor. Good night, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm going to hang out for just a few seconds to see if anyone else says anything and then i'm gonna log off thank you thank you thank you good night my darlings happy valentine's day everyone enjoy it enjoy it good night love you guys i do i do i do <laughs> good night